It's early. Hello, good morning, and welcome back to Coffee with Santi. Today, I thought it would be a good idea to talk about Jedi Fallen Order, which is the latest uh, Star Wars video game from Respawn Entertainment. If you don't know who Respawn is, they basically made maybe my favorite video game of all time, which is Titanfall 2. They've also made Apex Legends and the original Titanfall. Um, I just finished it yesterday. I pre-ordered it when it came, when it was coming out. Got it the day it came out, and then um, I actually didn't play it for probably a month because I was still in school. It was sort of nearing our finals and going through finals. And I actually used it as sort of motivation. I told myself I wasn't gonna touch it, I wasn't gonna play it until I finished school. It kind of pushed me to finish and then over the winter break and in this time where I'm kind of in between doing stuff, um, I've been playing through it. So just finished it yesterday um, and I wanted to share my thoughts on it. I really like the story. Um, I really enjoyed Cal Kestis as a character. I really remember when it, the game was coming out, I was like, this is kind of generic um, as a story. There's a lot of books that are sort of follow that same storyline, but I really enjoyed his character. I thought he was really endearing as a character. He wasn't just sort of a blank slate for like the player to sort of assume. He was a fully formed character with motivations and a backstory and, and just really, really awesome. And then all the side characters are amazing. It's interesting to see different perspectives from around the galaxy, which I feel like a lot of the Star Wars spin-off movies tried to do, but didn't quite nail. Whereas this, you really get a sense of the wider galaxy and sort of about how different kinds of people in it are affected by the rule of the Empire and, and the legacy of the Jedi. The mechanics, um, I, again, really enjoyed the mechanics. I really liked um, the combat, in particular the lightsaber combat, I felt like the Dark Souls-esque sort of reliance on parries and combos and um, using your lightsaber effectively. While it was definitely frustrating, there were times where I would uh, silently scream to myself because I had lost a boss fight so many times. That sort of combat is way more satisfying than something like The Force Unleashed where you're basically <clears throat> Excuse me, where you're basically just slapping someone with a stick. Yeah, really love the mechanics in it. I really liked the exploration. There's a big focus in the game on sort of parkouring your way about the worlds and um, finding pieces of information, finding new ways to go, finding shortcuts. All that stuff I found really enjoyable. Normally, I don't really like sort of meandering around a map and stuff, but really enjoyed that. My only criticism is that some of the controls are a little non-intuitive. One of the things that you have to do is when you run at a wall, in order to climb up that wall, you have to hold the left trigger to grab it, and then after that, you kind of let it go. And for me, that was always kind of a weird mechanic. The other thing is that in some of the lightsaber fights, um, the boss battles, there are certain moves that other characters will do which will sort of break your stance, but they're not like clearly indicated as opposed to there's obviously like heavy attacks, which will, the only you know way to parry that is to dodge out of the way, but there's other attacks that when done in succession will break your lightsaber stance and it's the game isn't clear about when you're supposed to dodge and when you're supposed to parry. But regardless of that, eventually you kind of figure it out, you get used to the controls and it's just a fantastic game. The final, the final level, mm. One of the best levels I've played in a video game in a very long time. And I must say too, it was really refreshing to play a video game that um, wasn't technically open world. Like it was sort of each planet you went to had its own way that you could go and you were supposed to go to certain planets at certain times. And it was really nice to have a game where you just kind of did the game. You weren't forced to like have a billion different side quests to do. It was nice to just be kind of on rails for a bit and just follow this nice story to its satisfying conclusion. The score is fantastic. It sounds very Star Wars-y. And I think that all things considered, it might be my favorite Star Wars thing from the last year. I think Jedi Fallen Order just, it just hit, it just hit me right, right in my little, my little Yoda heart. Hmm? If you've enjoyed it or you're in the middle of playing it, let me know down below. We can talk about it. But yeah, other than that, thanks for watching. Have a good day, guys.